It's hard to find a picture of the city without the Hyatt Regency Hotel in the skyline. Good evening. I'm Doug Fernandez. And I'm Gail Norwood in for Shelley. Now you can see the Hyatt right here in our action cam showing downtown. But we have learned that one of the tallest buildings in the state has been nearly vacant for months now. Documents show its owners are behind on paying bills. This building has temporarily housed presidents and rock stars. The Hyatt here in downtown is one of the most prominent buildings, most prominent addresses in the entire city of Albuquerque and the state of New Mexico. But if you go to the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Albuquerque, this is what you get. Locked doors. It was weird to have it all shut down and without even knowing. The Hyatt has been closed for months. According to their website and these signs on the doors, it's because of COVID and the lack of conventions being held at the convention center across the street. Everyone knows that the pandemic was uh, very challenging for the hotel industry. Now the city says it is delinquent in paying about $74,000 in lodger taxes dating back before the pandemic. Now City Hall, located across the street, has put a lien on the building. So the lien will be in place until those taxes from March, March and April of 2020, they've been paid. And that's the condition. That's the condition of the lien. Those taxes go to pay for events to come into the city and city facilities like Isotopes Park. The city tells us that they have recently talked to the hotel for the first time in months. They have now been put on a payment plan to pay them back. We reached out to the hotel for comment and asked if they will reopen. We didn't hear back. But if you look on the Hyatt's website, you can get a room on September 1st. Heritage Hotels and Resorts owns two other hotels that had liens placed on them, Hotel Albuquerque and Ativo. However, the city tells us that those properties recently paid their taxes and the liens have been lifted. 